Hello ladies, uh, right now it's August 13, uh, 1 18 p.m. and I am down for the day trading today. Um, the first one, um, I, I, I have a total of three trade and able to get positive 0.3R uh, today for day trade. And the first trade I took is Fastly and I took this trade who is Jeremy however I did not using his stop um, so what my come on why do you do this okay um, he, he do the breakout and he's very good at a breakout but I am not um, I don't know I should trust more and uh, but I didn't um, but I, I did see this um, candle and I do like it so I set it up right here I think property I set it up for 78.55 yep that candle and I like that um, then uh, other one um, what I like most is when it pull back and I saw the um, pre-market uh, high and I like to I like to I like that even more um, I like to have maybe um, uh, what do you call that um, resistant become uh, support so I set another half R it's not even half R I think it's like a quarter R or something like that very small um, to try out my method and I set it up for 77.70 another one for entry and both have the same stop and my stop was um, pre-market low um, I have let's see come on I have 76.16 and so it's even lower than the pre-market let me see uh, yep see that those two candles right there that's where I set it up for pre-market low and so um, unfortunately Jeremy got um, stopped out but because my share is so small and my stop is so large um, I end up to be able to hold it and I start uh, kind of a trail my uh, stop once it break out that high so I take some profit at $80 I believe when that high coming in right here Come on. I take up some profit right there and um, around right here I think when I see this candle and anyway so allow me to get some profit at $80 it's a little bit high my target was 85 because I want it to go back to this uh, EMA that, that magenta color I thought it's gonna go run up higher and that's my wishful thinking but who knows right you never know and then this candle trail me out uh, once I pay, take half of a profit at $80 uh, I move my stop to this uh, candle right here the low of that candle the low of that candle and so um, 70 960 that's what my um, my um, trail out stop and that is a one to get me and uh, because this uh, the nature of this uh, this um, stock instead of a 7960 I got trail out at 7955 and as you can see it's right that Kindle so with this particular trade, um, I'm a positive, um, positive little bit, and then 
I took MU with Jeremy, and um, it, it's a berry tray. Um, I did it with uh, with him, and uh, for but I using the option con uh, contagious contingent uh, option. Um, that means if in this condition met, um, execute this order, this option order, and uh, my contagious contingent was 4670 when it break down to 4670 then buy the uh, buy the put option at the market and that is that is a bad part of my action because it end up to be um it end up to be at a market but the high price so when it when it start tanking this way, my option is not going much, going up much, and then when it start retrace because this is the MU, so um, I did not wait for it to retest and against me. So and it's MU, and then um, uh, on the daily it's near the support area so I basically when it's this candle coming in this is a bullish candle and this hammer coming in I just um, exit out and I exit out um, I thought it has a little bit profit but because of the option fee um, and um, I end up to be losing 0.02 R very very small but as you can see um, at the um, stock itself I should be able to have some profit but because the nature of the option I end up to it cost me um, small loss and um, that's um, MU and last trade I did is Cisco is Cisco um, I get in with this double bottom right here and this particular trade I'm a little bit chased to it and I don't like, um, I shouldn't do that. Um, I need to start um, thinking about that and maybe put that in the plan. Um, I saw this candle and I like it um, because it's kind of like a forming double bottom and this is a blue chip stock and pay dividends. Earning it's good but it dropped for more than 10%. In some, some time it's gonna fade, that, fade back up. So I basically take it and when I saw this candle, I was setting up, um, try to get it above this candle, this, uh, um, this um, bearish candle. Um, but while I'm setting up, it start going back up. And um, so I ch kind of a chase two times. And that is really bad in my part. Um, so I end up to get a 42.69 um, come on 42.69 and my low uh, my uh, stop is the bottom of this uh, 42.20 that's my stop And this same thing, I didn't put a 4R in there. And it worked for a little bit. But then I was, my plan was it will retest and then and then start heading up. But it didn't do it. So when it go in sideways a little bit, and then when it, especially this area right here, right here start going down. And that, that's when I'm basically sell for, sell one penny above what I bought and I just say I'm going out get out so but I did um, with my retirement account um, buy the option I buy the September option um, because like I say it's a blue chip stock and going down and um, 
I was expecting it will go back up tomorrow and that is um, my option will have a, a little bit profit to it and but it's in my retirement account so I won't count that R but uh, with the um, with today trade between three trade um, I, I get up um, with a 0.3 R uh, gain and that's not not too bad it's a positive today and um, little by little I stack that wood so we will see what tomorrow will bring me um, maybe I should start increase my R a little bit got a little bit more comfortable um, with my trade but uh, that's the end of uh, today's review and I hope you lady do better than I am uh, more I trade more I got scared I need to start building this uh, confident back um, I hope you lady has a better day than I am um, I will talk to you uh, talk to you ladies soon bye bye